Hello, and welcome back to another really interesting, hard-hitting, and fun episode of A Course in Miracles. Mm -hmm. I'm Tomas Garza. I'm going to jump right into this today. We're going to jump right into the idea of your identity, who you are. And my hope is that you come away from this short video with an answer to the question, who am I? What am I? Well, and what am I doing here? We're talking about God, we're talking about you. We're talking about one with, same as, and we're talking about authorship and creation. Source, your source, my source, all of our sources. Okay. Lesson 260. Let me remember God created me. That's the idea for today. Powerful, powerful stuff. Let me remember God created me. You may have been taught this in Sunday school growing up or in your own particular religious or spiritual tradition, however you were raised. This may be a familiar idea to you, but how often in life do we actually take the time to contemplate what this in fact means? Well, if you're following A Course in Miracles or a, a similar spiritual tradition, uh, maybe a lot, yeah, this might be a daily contemplation for you. And I hope that it is. I really do. I hope that it is. Because you're asking the deeper questions. Get the deeper answers. And I'll tell you what, the deeper answers are simple. <laughs> They're simple. Let me remember God created me. Why is this so important? Because we're on the path of disidentifying with the ego. Disidentifying. In other words, we're on the path of leaving that to the side. Why does it appear so hard? Because we're so attached to it. We've identified with ego with a separate sense of self. We've identified with our own identity as human beings, as male, as female, as transgender, right? If you identify as transgender or non-binary, gender is an identification. Species is an identification. Human being, what's that? And the reason we can ask these questions is because here in A Course in Miracles and in spirituality in general, we receive the instruction, the teaching, the message that we're not a body. Remember, we spent 20 lessons on the idea, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Okay, fast forward to lesson 260, let me remember God created me. Critically important. Why? The ego would love to believe that it's God that it is the author. The ego would have you believe that you're a physical body and mom and dad made you. And when this thing that we call the physical body ends, so do you. Let's call it death, yeah? Let's exalt it, make it real to us. Make all these aches and pains, all of our illnesses, shortcomings, gray hair, baldness, <laughs> right? Let's make it real to us. Why don't we? This is what happens when we take the ego's advice. The ego is simply a mistake. I call your attention back to the summary of A Course in Miracles. And it's, it's just so true isn't it? Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Anything impermanent does not exist in truth. Now, here in the world, we can make really, really cogent arguments that it does, because we're subject to the laws of Newtonian physics, why we made ourselves subject to them. Think about the power of your own mind. And I know you're thinking about it because we're on lesson 260 and we've been talking about that. And you know, deep down. This is what the course refers to as hearing an ancient song. 
It's an ancient calling. It's something deep within you is calling you back home, so to speak, to who you really are. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Recently, in this set of videos, we've spent a significant amount of time talking about our goal, the peace of God, and how experience becomes radically different when we want nothing else. Which, by the way, is not saying don't pursue things here in the world. We've all got to make money. And we're here in the dream, in the illusion. So, you know, we owe it to ourselves to keep ourselves functional while we wake up. We do. Then if you have clients, right, family members, people that are dependent on you, then yeah, we have obligations. We got to pay the light bill. What we're talking about here in A Course in Miracles is we're pointing at absolute truth. God is. So this should answer your question, who am I? God is. In other words, only God is. Who are you? Yeah. Of course, the ego says otherwise. And here's a very important point. One of the things about this idea, Lesson 260, let me remember God created me, is it's very important that we give credit where credit is due. God is the creator. God is the author, the source. Source, capital S, yeah. It's very important in our process of letting the ego go, of bringing illusions to the truth, of setting all of our artificially imposed barriers to the presence of love to the side. It's important in all of this journey that we acknowledge that God is our creator. Ego thinks it is the creator. In other words, it thinks it is God and would love nothing more than to take God's place, yet realizes it's completely impossible. The ego rightly fears, and the Course tells us this, that we will abandon it, and we will. That's the only thing that it's actually correct about. So we're all somewhere along that journey. And the very fact that you're interested in A Course in Miracles means you're, the end is near. You can't go back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Trains left the station, right? This is a very important part of letting go of the ego to acknowledge that God created us, all of us. There's a really important idea in A Course in Miracles. Ideas leave not their source. What this means in the context of this idea, well, in all ideas, is that ideas leave not their source. We are the extension of God, the Son of God, the thought of God. One of those descriptors may resonate with you more than another and use it, it's the same. Ideas leave not their source. This means, that as the thought of God, we are one with God. This is why and how we can say with 100% confidence that our will and God's will are one. The same. Because we're the same. God created us. We're the extension of God. Now, along the path, there might be some serious thought, some serious contemplation about that. And, you know, I cannot speak for any of you as to the 
true nature of these deep existential questions in your daily life. It gives a lot of people pause at this stage. Many of us in the spiritual practice world here in the world are quite comfortable up to this point. Quite comfortable getting to a point here where we're still retaining some ego-based thought that God didn't create us, that he, and if you prefer she, it, whatever, they're just, they're just words, we're comfortable up to a point. And when it comes to the point of giving credit where credit's due, right? Acknowledging the creation, the authorship of God, of us, who we really are, people balk at that. And, and you may have reached that point. I invite you, if you have, to think about it from the perspective of letting go of the ego, of bringing illusions to truth, as we say here in the course. It's very important that we acknowledge this. Because you know, the ego could tell you that it's God. And you may have arrived at the conclusion based on all of the verbal math and the thought that you are God. Well, yeah. God created you. Ideas leave not their source. We're all alike. There is no separation of any kind. But so we don't harbor vestiges of the ego's thought system. We give God the credit and acknowledge that he created us. It's allowing truth to be as it is. And it is a beautiful and all important act of surrender, isn't it? It's letting the ego go. This is what allowing is. This is what the practice of acceptance is. It's what the practice of unconditional surrender is. I don't mean surrender in war and battle. I mean unconditional surrender to the truth as it is. This is one of the things that is meant by you're created in God's image. Well, God extends himself. Love extends itself. Are you beginning to recognize your true power? It's not a power over others. There are no others. It's the will of God, your will. It's the power of God. It's your power. You share in this. I share in this. Each of us is in a process of awakening to this. And along the path, it's critically important that we acknowledge that we did not create ourselves. God is the creator. And at the same time, ideas leave not their source. So what I hope for you today is that you take this to heart and think about it, contemplate it, and practice this idea in whatever form you're now practicing these workbook ideas. It's a big one. It's beautiful. And each of us is on the journey, on the path to remembering this. So let's, as we say here in the world, make some significant progress today. In truth, there's no progress to be made, is there? Because God simply is.
again. Nothing real can be threatened. Who you are cannot be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. All of the ephemeral, all of the change ultimately doesn't exist. We're talking about the deep level stuff here. And herein lies the peace of God. All right. So may you experience that right now. All right. Thanks for joining.